nothing to it. Real one. Ain't nothing to it. Boss. Ain't nothing to it. Real one. Ain't nothing to it. Nothing. Boss. A better cost. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of My Psychic Life. So today I was in the shop getting ready to close for the day. I have to officiate a wedding tomorrow, meaning that I am the minister that's going to marry a couple together. Whoop, yay me. So I had a couple come in today and uh, they were experiencing uh, some weird gnome activity going on uh, in their house. Like they took a gnome into the house to paint, repaint it after having it for so many years and uh, after they painted the gnomes they started experiencing paranormal activity in their house um, or they got orbs on video and on picture marks on their body uh, it's been blessed by a preacher activity got worse um, eyes are appearing all in the mirrors and around the house they're seeing a man smoking cigarettes out on the property and they just got married uh, after 30 years of being together. So uh, I'm going out this Sunday to see exactly what it is that they're experiencing in their house, uh, me and the crew. And we're going to go out there, take some infrared pictures. Uh, I'm going to go out there, communicate, and see exactly what's going on out there in their house. And we're going to possibly see if we can get it out. Uh, the minister did it without success, so they were disappointed. So today, they said that they Googled uh, metaphysical shops, occult shops, looking for sage, and they found me. And so, we're going to be live Sunday. We'll be live Sunday um, filming. We'll be on the spot doing cleansing, purification on the house. And I'm very excited and um the thing the most the the thing i like the most is that they spoke openly about it which i'm gonna get uh show you a clip of right here i'm also gonna link some pictures in so you can get an idea of some of the stuff they've been seeing they said that um they talked to a minister and he really didn't take what they were going through seriously which is a big disappointment because right now we are going through a transition of energy in spirit. We are coming into awakening, ladies and gentlemen. We are realizing that we have abilities. We, are, we have gifts. And as my assistant Chris says, we are not mere mortals, okay? We are not regular-ass mortals. So we are feeling things, seeing things. We're having experiences. Like, we're, we're picking up on people's emotions. We're picking up on spirit. And just like... We're going through this evolution and we're becoming stronger spirits are too. Okay? So that means that their presence is stronger, more forceful. So, you know, you're going to be picking up on that as well. So, my day just got interesting. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to show you these clips. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very touchy about my clients, Okay? So, I don't want you to be judgmental about the things that they say, the way that they look, um, none of that. Just receive the information that they're given, okay? All right. All right, right, right now we got the uh, faces everywhere, everywhere you look, in the laundry baskets, clothes, uh, mainly in the fleece in the closets. They like it for some reason. I don't know if it's putting off the heat, the static electricity or what, and uh, the water. Like I said, the water valve there for a while, the hot was leaking, so I switched the cold over to it, and the hot still was leaking, and you put the good, the bad valve in the cold side, and it wasn't leaking. And so, and you, I still, huh? You so, so you seeing orbs on video, you got orbs on video. I got orbs on, on video as recently as yesterday. Okay. That were following me to work, evidently they're going to work with me and stuff. And so the house I already been blessed by a priest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a virgin oil on the cabinets and around the doors and stuff. And, and how long ago they spent? The 14th was when the priest done it. When did the other guy do it? We had a Christian come over and help us do it. Uh, that was uh, two weeks ago before that, three weeks ago maybe prior to that. 
It was before we got to the hospital, so we would get out of the hospital 27th or something. I don't know. I'd have to look at them dates and see, but there's been so much of it that been a lot of it. I got a little things wrote down. I got a lot of things wrote down. Yeah, she got a lot wrote down. She I write every day. And what's been your experience? Mine? Yes. I see old men everywhere. All my vision has old men in it. Gnome heads, old men, demons, things with horns. Now, I saw the orbs and stuff on the pictures myself. I saw the black orbs. I saw uh, white orb. orbs. I seen the gnome face on the picture. Oh, yeah. I seen the man on the picture standing in the hallway. I believe you. I uh, can show you a gnome, one of those gnome pictures, and his eyes will look over at you. If I say, hey, look over here at her, and he'll roll his eyes over and look at you. We won't go to that page. That we won't go to that picture no more. <laughs> because they're actually communicating I, through a picture. Yeah, they communicated through their phone to us. Well, one thing that I want to tell you phone. is y'all did not find me by mistake. I don't advertise too heavily what I do. And, you know, if you if you find me, it's meant for you to find me. So we're we going to come mm. to Cleveland. We're going to... Yeah, we, um, we're gonna see what's in your house and see if we can get it. We out. actually looked up Thank on Colton shops, and it yours came up because we wanted to find some sage to burn. But she says we're not here by by accident. No, nobody finds me by accident. Nobody finds me by accident. I'm just hoping we found the right folks. You found me. You know, so um, we gonna come up there, me and uh, the Hoodoo Nuga crew. I call her Hoodoo Nuga because I do Hoodoo and Chattanooga. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to come up there and see if we can take care of your problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come up there. We're going to set up. Um, and we're basically going to cleanse your house and get rid of whatever's in there. And so... How that sound? Sounds awesome. <laughs> I'm ready for it to be gone. <laughs> That's a terrible nuts. way to spend, spend the first month that you married. <laughs> Whenever you get done recording, we can tell you a story that just really <laughs> blows your mind, you know. We had a neighbor. The neighbor next door bugged us. I mean, six, seven times a day, this guy was knocking at our door, just wearing us out, wanting to come in the house. Found that toy. You're not coming in the house no more. Just stay away. Quit bugging us. I go to work, and he's over bugging her all day, every day, just bugging us. It's like, what is going on? And we get rid of him, and then all this started in us. We just can't have no peace. I am watching. <laughs> he's in jail. He must have been he's a known. in jail. <laughs> I don't know. He's in jail right now. We thought we got rid of him, but come to find out, he's in jail. It's like, well, you we know thought we was getting no, relieved. <laughs> nobody finds me by mistake. <laughs> right. We're going to get it taken care of. Um... And so I'm actually looking forward to it. So you <laughs> we got, are too. <laughs> uh, because I got this wedding to do tomorrow. You have tonight and you have tomorrow night to deal with this. And then we're going to come up on Sunday and we're going to get it taken care of. So. See, my intense. boss, the guy I'm working for right now, he's a real heavy Christian to hear him tell it all these years I've been working for him. And I've never been a real heavy Christian. I, Cuss, rant, and rave, and go on, you know. Well, you know, hey, and, uh, but not, long as you believe in God, that's all that matters. Right. You know? That's what I keep telling you. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> drank through the vine. He drank wine. I like wine. Right. I'm going with Jesus. I mean, anybody that like wine is my friend, so I'm, 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 I'm pro But he Jesus. won't even discuss it. If I say anything about it, he just ignores me. He you know why? Because it. It, it is very hard for some people to accept the fact that there is a spiritual presence on earth right mm -hmm. now. They they don't want to believe what they what's in the Bible. They don't want to believe it. Right. It's in the Bible mm -hmm. that spirits <laughs> will walk earth. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And right now we're at a time that where spirits are really prominent. Yeah. You know, everybody is awakening and coming into their gifts. They're coming into the fact that they can see things, feel things, hear things. And also just like our energy and our ability to pick up on energy is growing so it's the strength of the spirits that right. are on earth so we're kind of wondering how many we actually have is all them sets of eyes actually some spirits because i seen hundreds of people in the yard that day that i seen the two evil ones there's hundreds of people in the yard behind them just normal looking people well we're gonna see what's going so, on with that we'll check that property out i'm going with you. one myself I'm thinking one, but he says many. Um, I'm thinking I'm dealing with one well, very talented. We're going to see which one of you right. When they disappeared that Saturday morning after they come out of the bedroom showing that tall guy come out of the bedroom and all, they disappeared, and they, I, I couldn't see them. She could see their little orbs. The, the mosaics of them going through the house and all. She could see now, them I then. saw the orbs. I saw the orbs. On, I saw the yeah, orbs. Oh yeah. I saw... <laughs> 
they had a big black ass orb on the cabinet. It was big as hell. Mm. And but then Huge. on the next picture, it was nothing. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> that then, was at work. It, it was me. really it like the orb had to be the size of uh, it had to be the size of this this pillow right here almost. Like mm. so, you know, I, I believe you. <laughs> I I believe you. So. Like I said, nobody finds beauty of rock by chance. If you find it, it's because you're meant to find it. of calls you ain't talking about nothing i ain't got no time got that dinero on my mind oh i got real problems just like you